Welcome back. Today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing some simple text titles that you guys can do in Premiere Pro without going into After Effects. They take just a few seconds and, uh, well, here's what they look like. Okay, great. Now let's break down on how we did this real quick. Okay, so the first thing is that I have Premiere opened up. I have a clip on my timeline and the first thing I want to do with this is get a go over to the new item panel and select black video. Hit OK. I'm gonna drag this oops. I'm gonna drag this over here to my timeline. And then okay now it's just a black space here. Well then I'm going to uh, press the letter T for the shortcut uh, for the type tool. And I'm going to make a box that is about the size of my frame. Okay, so now I'm going to type in, uh, let's title this. Let's, uh, let's call this a new tutorial. Because that's uh, the cleverest thing I could think of. Okay, great. Um, I want to make this as large as possible, so I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to drag the font size up to 400. Well, I guess it's a little big. Uh, okay, let's go right there. Okay, well, the font itself, I'm not really a fan of Minion Pro, um, but I will go with Arial Black. Oh, and it's still yet a little big. Okay, that's uh, about the biggest we can possibly make it. Let's center this. And um, actually, I want to use this center so that way it's a complete box. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop it down here, right in the middle, and drag it out. Yeah, you know what? That actually looks pretty weird. <laughs> um, Let's, let's change the words from new tutorial to awesome tutorial. No. Okay, how about this? Um, the obvious one that I should have done, title tutorial. Because that's what we're doing. We're doing titles. Okay, title tutorial. Got it. Okay. So, now that we have this, what we're going to do is I'm going to highlight both clips. I'm going to right click and I am going to nest it. I'm just going to call this title A. Great. Okay. So now the first thing that I want to do over here is go over to the effects panel on the right. Click on it in the uh, over here. You want to type in Luma, L-U-M-A, and we're looking for Luma key. Okay. So now what you notice is that this just goes back to the original text which is fine, but now what we're going to do is we're going to switch the cutoff and we're going to put the cutoff up to 100 and we're going to put the threshold well, you can put it anywhere you want, but I'm going to put it down to zero okay, so now here is your first title that you that you have okay, so another thing that you can do with this too is if you want to be fancy here is uh, you can just uncheck the scale width uh, for uniform scale, uncheck that and uh, go down and then you want to look for scale height okay and then you just okay change the height bring that outside here a little bit let's, uh, let's center this a little more and then take the width and then move that just outside okay so then you have something kind of trendy here with the titles um, which it looks pretty decent Okay, so now let's go on to title B, the second one. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And I'm gonna take another black video and put it on just like we did. And then I am going to uh, get another text over here. We're gonna do the same thing. Put it up here and and this time i am going to call it just simply title card okay that's something easy it's already in the big font well we can put it max font now i'm gonna center it 
Mm, yeah, that's all right. Okay, great. Move this somewhat near the middle. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now that I have it about a medium scale, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to make this the full length. Okay, so that looks kind of cool, I guess. Um, I'm going to highlight both the clips. I'm going to go over to where it says nest. I'm going to nest them together. We'll call this title B. Great. Okay, hit OK. And now I'm going to click on the, the uh, clip and I go over to the mask tool, the pen tool from opacity, and I'm going to make a diamond. I think diamonds are cool. Diamonds are forever. Okay. All right. Um, okay, now I'm going to go over to mask feather, bring that down to zero. I'm going to drag this up a little bit. Um, more on that later. I'm going to click on the toggle animation for where it says mask path. And here I'm inserting one keyframe. And then, okay, so I'm going to click back on mask one. And I'm going to drag the timeout to. Actually, you know, I'm going to drag this keyframe out a little bit too. So that way it has time to, you know, view like that. I'm bring it out just a little bit further here. And now what I'm going to do with the mask is I am going to just bring it into center. Oops. Okay. And now. From here, I am going to okay. So now I'm going to make uh, you know I'm just going to drag it along and position the keyframes over here. Um, just a little bit different. I'm going to make this kind of a shape. Then I'm going to bring it a little bit further on the time, and what I'm going to do is I am just going to just drag the keyframes. Oops. Sorry, I uh, accidentally dragged on my timeline. Okay, maybe 75%. And then I'm just gonna drag this one out here. Okay, so now this takes up the whole space, which is good. But um, now let's go back to right here. And let's click on the scale keyframe. So the stopwatch for there. And then as it gets bigger, let's have this fill the frame. So I'm just going to make it bigger. Okay. So now one more thing that we need to do, which we haven't done yet, is add the Luma key. So we already have that in our effects panel. I'm just going to drag it and drop it here. And again, I'm going to do the same exact thing where I move the cutoff to 100% bring the threshold down to zero and now we have that okay so now let's see how this looks so far okay let's play this back it's a little slow you guys can play with the timing later um, to get it exactly how you want but um, yeah actually let's uh, that's fine let's do this let's bring this in Let's definitely bring this in. Okay, let's see how this looks. Okay, cool. Now, um, yeah, it could be better, but you know, tweak it yourselves. We'll just little bit more see I like my effects to be a little fast all right more or less good all right so now I'm gonna go over to new item down here and then I am going to click and I'm gonna look for color mat okay and then I hit okay now color I choose will be red Let's go with red. And yeah, sure, color mat is fine. 
I'm gonna pull it over here, bring it down on the timeline. Okay, so now we have this. Looks great, I guess. And uh, let's go to, I'm gonna right click on where it says title B and I'm going to hit copy. Then I'm going to right click on color mat and I'm gonna hit paste attributes. So now we want the motion, we want the opacity. We don't need the Luma key, so I'm gonna uncheck that. I'm gonna hit okay. Great. So now, if you bring it back, this is what you have now. But we don't want the lettering red. I mean, I could have just, you know, changed that in the text color. But let's uh, let's do this. Let's change the blend mode to overlay. So now we've got some kind of a, a fancy overlay here. Great. Well, that's that's cool still, but let's do something a little bit different. Okay, so let's just move this down now. Okay, great. So now that's down a little bit there. And I have a feeling, yeah, you know what? That works. Okay, so. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Those are your fancy titles, and it didn't take very long at all to do. Um, you can do the same things in After Effects. Um, if you guys want to do After Effects tutorials, I can show you guys how to do that. In fact, it's it's probably better a lot of times to do something like that because you can always, uh, you know, you can have it uh, kit saved as an asset and then adjust it later as you want. Um, this is just something where it's like, oh, I need a title. I don't have one, so let's do something quick. Um, Anyways, um, I reached a milestone lately, which is 500 subscribers, which is so awesome. I'm really grateful for that. I am not going to do a celebration video for 500, um, but I will do one for 1,000. Uh, just right now, I have a ton of stuff on my plate, a lot of projects that I'm working on, and the Christmas video that will be coming up soon. Stay tuned. I will be doing more tutorials in the meantime and some other cool, fun stuff. I hope you guys like my new setup. I'm trying to do something where I can work a little bit faster. So instead of the lapel mics like I normally use or the other um, the, the boom mics or whatever other mics that I set up, I have a desk mic that I'm using today. Moving forward, what I'm going to be doing with the direction of my channel is I am going to be doing a combination of tutorials and then I'm gonna be making uh, little short films or movies or just creative outlets, hopefully as inspiration to you guys which continue to make videos. Um, so that's, that's basically it. I uh, will see you guys soon. Take care.